not just one small little thing. We've actually gone from well, the biggest animal, the land mammal in the world, to one of the smallest little animals in the world. And of course, those are little red ants. Now, I'm not sure which ants they are. There are over 550 species of ants in Southern Africa alone. So they might be little safari ants. I know we used to call them safari ants and they'd come through our kitchen and clean up all of the debris. But there's something else in the shot that is trying to clean up the ants, and that's of course a little pirate fly who is now cleaning itself. Now they're hilarious, these little guys. You see them around termite mounds, and of course, as we can see now, you see them around the ant colonies too. And they will snatch up little flies at any opportunity that they can get. But look at this network, this little ant pathway that they have created. It is absolutely spectacular. There must be hundreds, maybe even thousands of these little red ants moving about the day. Look at that. That's all of them. Now, in that little groove in the ground that you can see there, those ants, look at them. There's so many of them and they're tiny. And I just, I don't know where they're coming from, or where they're going, or what they're eating. Normally when they go out like this, it's perhaps because they found something that they can eat. Now, ants eat a lot of different things. Some of them are just vegetarians or feed on plant matter, nectar, seeds, and then you get others that will feed on other ants, so termites, spiders, cockroaches, any of the insects, really. I think these guys do a combination of both. But I would love to go and eventually follow this trail and see if it leads us back to, well, where they go underground, where their little mound is. Now, ants don't build, well, the ants that we get down here don't build massive mounds like we see with the large fungus growing termites. Most of them are built underneath the ground. But these guys are on a move and they are working very hard. I think it's amazing how they don't crash into each other because they're moving at quite a speed. And I think that they've got better driving skills than most of the South Africans. That's <laughs> really cool. <laughs> now, John B, you've said uh, that look at the line that they are forming and it's, it's massive. I'm actually going to go, while you stay here, I'm going to walk a little bit further away. And I'm going to show you how far it is. I'm going to find out where they are going. Okay, so I've got to here so far. So just look from where we are, we're this distance apart. I think Sebastian and I must be about 12 feet away from each other, maybe even a little bit more. And I suspect that their nest is somewhere here. It sort of goes along, just along here. There aren't as many ants. There seems to be a roadblock up ahead. Perhaps there was an accident of some sort. The traffic has slowed down and it weaves in here through the grass and it actually continues. So maybe that their mound is somewhere along here. I'm gonna walk, I want to see what's caused the slow down in traffic over here. Oh, I think you see it's not a double lane system on either way. Something has gone on over here. There are loads and loads and loads of ants all gathering over here. It doesn't look like they're feeding on anything. I can't see, oh, there's a couple that are carrying little white things. I wonder if they're not moving some eggs around perhaps. Not all of them do, but just a couple of them. There's no little entrances to, to go down into the ground along here. And of course, here's another one of those pirate flies. Let's see if it's gonna catch anything. Have you got it? Come on, show us what you can do. Now, my favorite is to actually watch them eat termites, just because the termites are a little bit bigger. And I don't know what part of the ant they're eating, but I've never seen a pirate fly eat an entire ant or termite. It's almost like they just eat their heads and then leave the rest, which is a little bit scary. Now remember, this is a live safari. This is happening right now in South Africa in the Sabi Sand Game Reserve. So hashtag safari live with any of your questions, if you do have any, or if you'd like to know anything about these ants. But the fly seems to be taking a break now. Perhaps it's already indulged in a buffet from the early hours of the morning. Oh, no. oh wow, got one. Now it's eating one, but it's very rudely turned away. And look at that, you see how it sort of flies up? I wonder if it does it to try and disorientate the ant. I'm sure the ant will maybe bite back. Wow. Well, there's a whole lot of them. And as we sit here and we see these ants are moving quite a bit, Red Fire Queen was wondering how far can they travel away from their nest. There's a couple, I think there's a few soldiers coming in and, oh, there we go. Actually trying to attack the pirate flies. You see that was an evasive maneuver that just happened over there. It went through this little soldier and actually I think tried to bite it. Remember, ants have got very powerful mandibles and I think it tried to bite the fly's leg and it worked, it chased it away. So you look at the disruption that has been caused now because of that fly. So sorry about that, let me get back to that question. Um, I don't know 
how far they can travel away from their mines. It's typically quite a distance. I mean, you've just seen now, and they sometimes spend most of the day out foraging too, and I'm sure they can go probably up to a kilometer, maybe a couple of hundred meters away from their, their mounds, but the further away they go, it's obviously quite dangerous. Now, I'm wondering how long it's going to take for these ants that we're sitting, uh, watching over here to sort of stop panicking, because you can clearly see that there's, they're not happy at the moment before they eventually get back into line. They're slowly starting to move back over. The fly again. He's coming back in. It hasn't learned its lesson. Let's see if it's going to snatch anyone up. It seems to also want to get an ant that's in the middle of all the commotion. All the... <laughs> Here we go. Look, oh, did you see that again? That was incredible. So those are the... We're on the same fly. Oh, we're not on the same fly. Uh, He's flown away. It was the one that had has caused all of this distress over here. Yeah, I'm on the one a little bit more in front of you. Oh, over there. Yeah. The quiet fly. Okay, we're watching two different flies. The one that I have has caused huge distraction over here. The ants are very unhappy and they keep attacking it. That one's quite lucky. That one uh, um, hasn't quite caused too much disruption, but that may change. It's just grooming itself at the moment, keeping itself nice and clean. It's actually quite amazing how even the small insects like flies still take a part of their day to keep themselves nice and clean using those back legs now. That's incredible. Now come on, snatch up some flies. Oh, there comes the second one. They, uh, got one? That is incredible. They're now ganging up a couple of soldiers again, veering off the pathway to try and chase them away. I think we're gonna move on from these ants now. We'll go see what else we can find and I wish them well on their journey, but let's go back across to James and see what toys he's going to play with next.